Hola mis amores, this is Massive with Mas Marco DIYs. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I am going to share with you three easy and super cute Halloween DIYs Pier 1 inspired. Okay, let's go ahead and jump to our first tutorial. I got this branch from my backyard and I'm just going to spray print it black. I got these three bats from Dollar Tree and then I'm just going to place it in my branch before I glue them to see how far away I want them from each other. I'm going to be adding the glue under the legs. I am going to be writing the word boo on my bat, so I'm just going to use the chalk marker to trace my letters before I paint my letters white. Now I'm painting my letters with a white acrylic color. Since the bats are not smooth, I had to paint between the lines and then to uh, fix the edges and any mistakes, I just fixed it with the black marker. To fold my wings, I am just going to add a little bit of glue to the top inside the wing and then I'm just going to fold them and I'm going to be doing the same for all of my bats. Now this part does not have to be perfect, I just wanted to make sure that at least I had a similar distance between all three of my bats. I am going to be repeating all the same steps I did on my first bat. The only thing that changes is the letters. I'm going to be writing the O here and then the O on the last bat so I can spell my word boo. make this super fun popcorn bucket i am just going to use a popcorn bucket and then some eyeballs and then i'm going to make a circle using this lid and then i am going to cut it and then i'm going to glue it on my popcorn bucket with some mud putch and now i am just going to paint around the circle with the very bright yellow acrylic paint I am making the circle to make my eyeball, but before I go ahead and color it, I'm going to be tracing with pencil, pop eyes, and then I'm going to color my eyeball. I am tracing over the letters with the black marker and also I will be painting the middle of the eye with the black marker. To make the eyeball look a little bit more realistic, I am just going to brush very slightly a bright yellow acrylic paint and then with a red pen, I am going to be creating the red lines. Before adding my black glitter, I am just going to go around the red stripes with this black marker and then I'll be adding the mud podge inside where the red is and then I'll be adding the black glitter. I am removing any extra glitter that is outside the stripes with this clean brush. I 
I am filling my bucket with some Dollar Tree plastic bags. And then for the top, I used this gray gift paper tissue. Using my hot glue gun, I'll be gluing the eyeballs to the gift paper tissue. For my third DIY, I'll be using this thinking of a master plan wall sign. I couldn't remove all of the paper so I just removed what I could and then I painted it with a black acrylic paint. Now with a pencil, I am going to trace the words. And I'm going to go over the words with a chalk marker. I found these um, creatures from Dollar Tree and they had two bags. One had um, the white and the purple skeletons and then I decided to go with this one that had the orange and the green and then I'm just going to place them um, on my sign and I'm also going to use a little spider. I wanted them to look like a couple so I decided to cut the hands under the elbow and then I'm just going to glue it more to the side to look like they were holding hands. Now with my chalk marker I am just going to highlight all the corners of the sign. I am going to add the twine and a pompon to add a little detail to the side of my sign. Now I'm gluing both of them together and then I don't want to see the ending of the twine so I'm just going to try to push it in as much as I can and then I'm just going to give it a couple of seconds so it can dry. Okay mis amores, thank you so much for watching today's tutorials. Let me know which one of these three DIYs is your favorite. Please give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing so you don't miss any of the videos I upload on this channel. This little clip right here is a DIY I shared on Instagram. If you guys are not following me over there, I will leave the link in the description down below. You guys can go and check it out if you want. I share one minute DIYs like this one as well as other DIYs related stuff. Okay, mis amores, this was all for today. Part 2 will be coming this week, so stay tuned. I will see you guys soon. Bye!